Uh, hey. <laughs> hey everybody welcome to murder hobo inc on this snowy snowy unless you're elsewhere in the country that doesn't matter evening hey uh you are sta- hey you guys are getting snow here in just a few hours don't you worry about that not for uh, a while <laughs> well i will i will yeah yeah there you go um this is cred tonight we are obviously down two players uh, uh, due to uh, wonderful, all natural things, uh, they have been brought down low this evening and will not be joining us tonight. What are you doing? Are you not going to eat? Uh, just to show everybody in the world, he is wearing pants. <laughs> it is okay. Now you say hi. Hi. Okay, now go away. Mom has a treat for you. Too you adorable. It? Too adorable. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, so let's go into the, the 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 spiel before I forget exactly where we are. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archives if you want to sit us up and talk to us, possibly about cred things or how I DM things when players don't show up. You can hit us up on Discord. Not this week, unless there's something I don't know about, and players also can't play on Saturday. But next week, if you hit us up at mhoboinc at gmail.com or on Twitter, you can sign up and join in on our one-shots that we do every other week. Well, uh, next week's the con. Is it the con? Wow. Yeah, it's this next week. This week is flying and... by. I'm yeah. a liar. Don't, don't hit those people up unless you're trying to buy badges. In which case, buy a badge, oh, join, wow. and sign in as many games as you possibly can. Uh, feel the love with Murder Hobo Con on the 12th and the 13th next weekend. <laughs> join in the fun games everybody has set up. Or, it's going to be awesome. Or you or, can hang out with me while I mini, but I paint minis on Saturday and Sunday. Are you painting for Murder Hobo Con? Yes. Okay, yeah, yes, gonna, you can absolutely do yeah, that. That's it's, perfectly it's, fine and allowed. <laughs> we are going to be, so basically on Saturday, I'm going to just do like a basic one line of pay a mini. Uh, I'll te- I'm going to teach on Saturday. And then Sunday, I don't think it's going to be a battle royale like we did the first time, but we're going to have our good friend Chris from Campaign One, who is also a commissioned mini painter and full-time streamer with his significant other, Genevieve for CNG mini painting on Sunday. So it'll be fun. Are you all right, Kyle? You're muted. you muted. Oh, Did you I seriously mute, mute yourself for two seconds? Just to make sure I didn't interrupt the important thing you have to say. It takes everything to fight off interrupting and saying something completely and utterly horrible. Uh, my wife just ar- uh, yelled at me for saying uh, something that I said earlier tonight that I will not grace the internet with its presence again. He's not taking your shit. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, family aggro. Family aggro, indeed. I'm just going to get rid of all of them at some point here. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. I think I'm going to summon <coughs> Cthulhu, and that should help me out with that situation there. Um, goodness, let's thank our sponsors for the evening, Pirate Dog Dice. I don't have dice in front of me, right? <laughs> do you seriously? Oh, my goodness. You know, we play this game with dice, right? We do. Well, you guys do. I just make up numbers, and I say <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> We also use character sheets, right? I probably should pull mine up. <laughs> yeah, that's I already did probably that. Idea. Oh. I just I realized, like, whoops, I don't have it up yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> my goodness. My I do goodness. have dice, though. So. Uh, and then we'd also like to thank our other sponsor, Oddfish Games, for their Adventure Sense. Uh, really get into the campaign with Adventure Sense. You know, you get the hearing, you get the visual storytelling. What about that sense of smell to really get you there? Uh, that aromatic, that fragrant, musty, moldy, uh, fetid whiff that just comes to every nose as you walk through sewers or you walk by Carol's fence post. You just you just want to be able to smell like you're there. 
Uh, not this Carol, by the way, a completely other different picture. Yeah, it was from that one shot, right? Uh, no, that was from this Cacophony. Which was sort of like one shots. Yeah, it pretty much is. Uh, other than that, they have the Shine Project, How to RPG with Your Cat. Um, they're going into the development for the Shine Project for Game Masters. Uh, uh, hopefully here sometime soon. I'm looking forward to that because the Shine Project itself is such a unique thing that really helps me when uh, writing something, but not so much when writing something by the seat of my pants. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, I'm forgetting other stuff, I'm sure, but just click on the sites there, uh, get cool merchandise from our thing. If you don't want to see our faces, we do have an audio only podcast on Podbean. Yeah, I think last one was a good one. And I think this one will be okay too, as long as I can keep up with myself or catch up with myself. While I go and grab my dice, let's have these <laughs> other two players introduce themselves, starting with Carol. Oh boy, I get to go first. Hi everyone, my name is Carol. Okay, I got my dice, guys. All right. Go ahead and just... Oh, oh, see? This is why I mute myself. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well said. My name, as you said, my name is Carol. I'm a longtime player, occasional GM, and commission mini painter with the Road Switch Dream at M. Oh, M- oh my God. That's great. At Muses underscore touch. <laughs> I'm used to actually introducing this stream on my on my on my stream. So <laughs> brain gets stuck there. Oh, uh, let's see. And for this campaign, I play Anja Jaeger, my half elven ranger, who's really fucked up right now i don't know if he wants us to give like the rundown of all the conditions and shit they're going go on but go ahead let's remind the oh, you want mine? Viewers. what did i leave off let's see i gotta look all right so i think that is dread two okay so i'm at two points of dread right now which isn't bad considering what we just got out of because we just escaped the cave two points of dread two points of exhaustion Two insanities. There's a lot of twos here. Uh, I'm afraid of being, t- I don't like being touched and what the hell is it? Oh, I have blood. <laughs> lots and lots of blood. I don't like lots and lots of blood. And I got a big open friggin' wound, which probably is the bandage probably needs to be changed. It's probably a little, I probably feel terrific. And I have 14 hit points out of my, how many hit points I have a 51. <laughs> so there's my status report. Oh. You're telling me I could have hit you more last time as well. No, I was I was pretty close to going down. That was like healing, I think, that was done after. <coughs> oh, nonsense. All right. And DJ, why don't you introduce yourself and your character? Hello, I'm DJ. I'm playing Bran. Things have been very, very, very rough with Bran lately. <laughs> Things have not been going well. Her one doubt of my status is I am at three dread. And I do have one, well, we'll call it insanity, but it's not really. <laughs> Let's face it. Nope, Having an irrational, I, I, well, actually, no, it, it, they say it's irrational. I say it's completely rational hatred for ghouls. If you, watch this, if you watch the story at this point, you'll actually get that. It really is, a, it's not irrational. And. <coughs> Some things may come of that. As you can notice, some things have also changed with me. There also probably be some more changes soon in the future. Because I like the theatrical. He does. He is very theatrical. As you can obviously tell. All right. Um, you guys pretty much talked a little bit about what happened last time. So I don't... Um, Plus, there was the intro earlier that people who watched probably saw. And if they read, uh, I'm sorry, I failed up. English class. That's that's what I do. I can't actually write for anything. I can come up with ideas, though. I can sum it up. Bad statue, hentai. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You guys got scared of a door. Then you got scared of a curtain. Uh, <laughs> focused only on those two things so we ignored uh uh the two other three uh, yeah two rooms you missed 
one room you didn't miss. Uh, you were basically attacked by a tendril, but luckily you had uh, that horrible ally of yours, the show show flesh golem, who was beaten to a pulp. I believe uh, he was exploded. <laughs> yeah. Matter of speaking. And the temple was brought down by the battle and the summoning of the creature uh, in particular. Uh, you guys managed to escape through a crack in a wall that had appeared to the side. And that's kind of where we emerged out to the, we to the out daylight or to moonlight. moonlight, which is like shit. <laughs> Because that's so, what we want to be, is in the friggin' jungle, in the middle of the fucking night, a dangerous jungle, da very, very dangerous jungle, in the middle of fucking night, when I want nothing more than a go crawl in a bed and not be bothered with anything or anyone right now. So as we begin tonight... We start not outside of this tunnel, but just as you guys are passing through the cracks, <coughs> we see uh, short-legged Merrick somehow among the fastest of these people <laughs> escaping tonight, oh, running, leading the way through the tunnels, uh, followed shortly by Anja kind of limping along. Brand, I would say, would be second. I'm more moving a half speed because of two points of exhaustion. As I remember, he was the last one through oh, the tunnels. Oh, was he? Uh, and so, let me do the cinematics here first, guys. And so, fall shortly, we have Anja. After that, we have Riley also limping behind, dragging uh, these papers as his uh, tablet, his stone, ancient tablet, looking like a tombstone, is just kind of swallowing these papers. Every once in a while, a piece of loose leaf flies over his shoulder and behind them all we have Bran running with this toy horse that he picked up just before he left and they're running through and you hear these screeching sounds dust is falling through every once in a while a crack will open up and <sighs> this sulfurous hot air blast will go into one of their faces we see Merrick actually fall down, trip over, and end up in this kind of misty smoke, deep breath, letting off this cough as people continue to run by. We have Bran come by. He picks them up and gets moving again. Eventually, this crack opens up into a tunnel heading upward, and we see them continuing run. Bran trips, cracks his head against the floor of this cavern all the while the ground is still shaking rubble is still falling down and the air is just warm and hot and it seems to come out from behind you uh brand take one point of damage just for the fun of it just because i decided to add it to the cinematic <laughs> even though you're not the one who interrupted my cinematic to begin with i'm sorry i get it confused <laughs> i'm glad hey i like to clarify this stuff Eventually, uh, uh, we see this cool air and light coming through at the head of the tunnel, and our party exits out. Um, and just as Riley, who ends up being the last one out of this tunnel, comes in, we just have this wave of hot air, dust sown as the cavern behind you just collapses in on itself mm. the waterfall that is next to you guys that kind of ends in the stream that continues to run downhill uh, uh, is a cool blessing and we actually don't catch ourselves on a moonlit night although you do see the moon as it makes its rise uh, it is setting the sun is setting at this point so there is a bit of light but it is going to turn into darkness real soon. Do we know how far, do we have any clue where we're at? 
that a is a question. Uh, would one of you like to roll? Well, you have a map maker. I do. Unfortunately, he's not here tonight. <laughs> Oh, I mean, he's uh, he's here, even though his player's not here. Yes. Um, uh, that's what you get, Jake, for spending time with your family. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> section that is all about your character and what your character does for the campaign, <laughs> you get to entirely miss. So uh, someone roll me a d20, and this is for Merrick. Oh, yes. Has yeah. explored this island <laughs> fairly thoroughly. Let's see. 13. 13. And with his 20 perception. Yes. Uh, Merrick is able to tell you guys, judging, because you are kind of up on a, this cliff face here. Um, and judging by where the sun is, that you're on the northwest side of this island. Um, if you follow the river down, you will come across a village. As most of the small hamlets, villages of Farzine need to be next to a fresh water source. And so most of the streams um, generally do have houses or, or small hamlet. Uh, there. How far away is this village? Probably half an hour to an hour. You're luckily, you just have to follow the water, which is the clearest way through a jungle. Okay. Um, would I know if, with Anja's condition, if she took a short rest, could she heal anything? Um, I, I think it was specified, I don't heal hit points on a long rest, but I think I can use hit dice to heal on a short rest. And you can use the hit dice to heal on a, a long rest as well. Okay. Oh, you can't? Oh, I can? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you guys kind of take a, a look at yourselves, um, yeah, that wound on your back Anja needs to be readdressed, as you were saying. Um, Anja, as you look at Bran, it looks like there is uh, uh, maybe a cut on his head, and it looks like there's this uh, uh, curl of blood running down his mask. Um, Bran, you kind of feel that your mask is a little bit loose on your head. Uh, Merrick is coughing from whatever he was breathing in from that run, that jaunt, jaunt, uh, when you were fleeing uh, uh, the monstrosity, um, Riley seems like Riley. barely see him. No, we can barely see him because of the cloak of flies. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, he must be bleeding something awful because those flies are just like crawling oh. all over him. Right now, I'm pretty sure I, I'm. I probably like a site at 14 hit points. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm bleeding. <laughs> do you, I mean, I, I do have cure wounds, although, I mean, I can um, touch somebody, right? Brand will look, look at everyone up. and say, we should probably take a short rest. We can head to the village tonight, though. It's probably not best if we stay out here too long. But let me see to Merrick, uh, and I need to check myself out quickly. Uh, Stay there and rest. When we get to the village, I will check your bandages. I just kind of friggin' collapse <laughs> on the ground. All right. So Feel first off, I will check right Merrick's condition to make sure he's not gonna die of like some type of inhalation poisoning or whatnot. Yeah, go ahead and make a medicine check. Oh yeah, that's a twenty-three. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, no, he oh, yeah. took a good hard breath of whatever that strange mist was. Um, but it seems like, you know, getting cool, clean air. Uh, uh, just this waterfall is moving air, so that's going to be good for his lungs. 
Uh, he's a, a rather stout halfling, as it were, and so poison isn't really going to bother him too much. <laughs> he is, however, uh, uh, looking fairly awful from wounds, from getting beat up, and you can look at his skin because uh, Anja and Merrick are a little bit stiff, and you can kind of see where his hands being a bigger guy, you know, got the meaty hands, but where he did have those, they've kind of shrunken in on themselves and you can see he's just kind of flexing his fingers a little bit and they're moving very stiffly. Anja, you also have something similar going on. Oh, so this if you remember so your... That was the effect. Yeah, that was from the effect yeah. of the creature. Minus two to your dexterity, is that right, Anja? Uh, I believe so. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. America's in much worse condition. She oh, is. I forgot about that. Yeah, on my status report, I forgot about the minus two to dex. Mm -hmm. did. <laughs> my dex and is still Merrick really good, though. currently has a minus four to dex. Yeah. <laughs> so Merrick was the other one that, yeah, America was the Merrick other one that had it. I thought about getting the rest of you, but that's... Oh, my just, God. We I tried. Just... I succeeded. Oh, that's right. Shut up. <laughs> I, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't decided how to handle this hour of rest. I'm going to try to stretch away that, whatever that feeling is, mm -hmm. or if I'm just going to pass out because I really feel terrible. Mm -hmm. uh... I think I'm passing out. Although, before <laughs> I pass out, uh, I did write a note to myself can I make a, uh, a Yog Sothri check, I assume, on that or on that monster that we fought? You may. And since I will for once remember that I actually roll skills at disadvantage. So the advantage that would have yeah. gotten because it's a favorite enemy is just wiped out. So it's a straight roll. And I don't know shit. So I rolled a nat one. A nat oh, yeah, no. I don't know so, shit. This information, this information. Yeah, no. Uh, that, that was, was the Easter clearly... Bunny. <laughs> that, the... <laughs> that was Sandy that... Claus. You should just say that was Fatnathoa itself. That was Fatnathoa. You have fought Fatnathoa. Oh my Fatna. god, we fought that I mean, it has, I mean, it petrified you. It <laughs> attempted to petrify you. You guys appear to be, you know, very strong-willed adventurers and uh, stout of character. Your, your guys are obviously better than the uh, sacrificial rabble, you know. Oh, Remind okay. me. <laughs> I'm going to run a note Don't on this. Don't remind me. Don't remind you? Yeah. What am I not reminding you of? Of all the people that we didn't. Oh, yeah. That they... you, uh, I know we were gonna friggin' you know burn all those bodies and shit. Well, maybe they. I mean, everything got shook. Hopefully, maybe they all got dropped in the lava, anyways. I hope. So once I know Merrick is fine, I will loosely tend to myself. I'm not gonna remove the mask at this point. I'm just going to bandage up the area and also tighten the masses up as best I can with a bandage. Yeah. I... Yeah. And on just passed out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're able to yeah, kind of fix up your mask a little bit, but this clasp is, is broken. You're going to be able to make some simple fixes to it but you're going to need to take it to someone who can actually has the tools to fix it or at least take it back to your shop where you mm -hmm. can at least gather the tools to fix it. But right now, out in the open, you are, you, you got a broken mask. <laughs> yeah. um, and Keep you're readjusting to, it all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What Anja was thinking was, you know, maybe some blood leaking from your forehead is actually just the fact that some of your hair is peeking out from behind the mask. As if it's still red after everything. 
That reminds me. Make a constitution uh, saving throw for me, please. Oh, uh, oh no. <laughs> it's oh, on no. my list of things. It's like, okay, Andre, oh. she has to make her save from the disease. Well, that's an okay. eight hours 16. rest. 16. 16. <laughs> Finally. Uh, I'll tell you what was going to happen was as you, you know, you take your hair and you start to tuck it back into your head. If you failed, you were going to pull that hair out. <gasps> yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> But you managed to tuck it behind the mask, kind of reattach it a little bit. You know, every once in a while, it's just bumping it up again. But no, you seem to be okay for now. Yeah, sure. (laughs) All right. Do we get um, through a short rest? Yeah, you guys get through a short rest. Um, I only have two hit dice to use. Oh, God. That's right. We, I felt that you. I don't have all hit dice either, and I am way down. Uh, oh, at least I rolled well. Oh no, I didn't use any hit dice. Never mind. I have all my hit dice apparently. All right, I have some hit points again. Just I'm throwing d tens. On the bright side, I now have key points again. <laughs> we'll see how that helps you. That means I can heal. That's what you think it'll help you. All right. Uh, warlocks are what? Uh, D8s? Uh, Actually, yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. He's fine. And rogues, I think, are also D8s. And yeah, he'll be fine, too. Okay. Yeah. Do I want to um, go for full, or do I want to save it? <laughs> I guess I'll go for full. Shoot. It's going to take all my hit dice. And so I took all my hit dice, and I still am one short. Couldn't go and get to full hit points. I'm only about half. Uh, there we go. So you guys finish your short rest. Uh, you make your way down. Oh, the question. Does it get rid of any of the other effects? What's that? Um, does it get rid of um, the You're still sick? The you dexterity still have dex damage. Shit. Okay. I've been thinking about how we're going to deal with that, and I think we're going to find out this. Session. Which which thing? <laughs> <laughs> which one of the five things that's wrong with me? Are you talking about? We're just going to make a lot of saves when you get a full night's sleep. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. I'm not looking forward to getting a long rest. I'm really not. Well, you're probably going to get one soon. Yep. Yes. All right. I'm assuming we all look like covered <laughs> in crap and whatnot. Oh, yeah. You guys are. I look awesome. <laughs> Anja just has a smear of soot on her cheek. Whoosh. <laughs> oh, no, no. Not like she has all that blood that I ended up getting gushed on her or anything. It looks like Carrie or something at the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> she probably is. I mean, she got the crap kicked out of her by that monster. So, I mean, she pulls the ponytail out and just flings her hair around. Mud and blood just spatter everywhere. <laughs> I'm a dog now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you guys finish your short rest. The sun is starting to get down low. Uh, uh, Merrick's the one who kind of prods you guys and to get moving if you want to get there before it actually uh, turns dark, but you're able to... Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> rest in. Uh, uh, and as you guys are making your way down, he tells you uh, uh, this is a village known as Brett Rock. How do you... R-E-C-T-O-R-Q. Which what, was about an hour, hour away, right? half an hour to an hour away. And I mean, at this point, even if you are exhausted, again, uh, uh, you have the clear line. You're not fighting through a lot of foliage. You just follow the stream down. You know, it even cleans the mud and blood off your boots as you walk through. So I'm nice. sure you don't mind too much. So wait, what was the name? Spell that town again? It was a village? B R E C T. O, oh, sorry, R O Q. Brett Rock. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and Merrick tells you, yeah, this is depending on how you want to get back to Farzine. It's either a seven day hike. Oh my God. The beach. Beaches. We're that far away? Which is going, hell. The way Farzine is, it looks like a very odd starfish. Yeah. And so the beaches are going to be your fastest way of traveling anywhere. But a week? You said seven days? Seven days. If you guys can get horses or some sort of pack animal, you can cut that time if you're going through the beach. If you are going through the jungle, um, you're cutting through. It'll be five days or so. But you're going through the jungle, and it's a lot more dangerous. I see, I see. That makes sense, huh? Yeah. You know what? As you say that and your eyes go up, it's probably less time than that, and I'm just kind of equivalating it. Uh, it probably is the difference between five days and three days, more likely. Five, oh, five, five days, days okay. Three through the jungle if you're able to really push through. Faster if you get horses, but it does take a while to travel around the island because it's dangerous for one. Uh, uh, and then the shores themselves that are the easiest places to travel, um, you do have to go way out of your way and then come back. It's not straight shots. Um and when you get to Brecht Rock, we see um, a very familiar village um, to our listeners as well as to Merrick. And what we expect to see is a village with children playing, getting ready for bed. We instead find a completely empty village. The hamlet is deserted. There are furrows on the ground. Uh, Brad will look around. Ah. Call out. But he's not going to do it too loudly. You said he will furrows, furrows the, the ghouls. The ghouls were here. Fuck them. He will go to houses and sheds, knowing that there may be hiding holes that children or people may have taken refuge, possibly. And he will simply give, like, a cursory. Is anyone here? The ghouls are gone. look through this village and there is where while there are furrows, these are very deep ones and time has passed since this has happened. Um, yeah, you do see evidence of a village attack. Uh -oh. And as you're going through and looking you see necklaces made of shell like it's been broken you see pieces of coral claw marks on the door that don't necessarily match a ghoul's marks oh. do these furrows look bigger? bigger yes and you actually come across what looked to be shark teeth where there's spatters of blood uh, stained deep brown and underneath an awning that might protect it from the weather. If you try and go up these doors where there are doors, if you try and kind of push them open to get in and look inside, they are barricaded. Um, I'll actually knock on the door. There is no answer. 
uh, that point, I will try to break it down. Sure. Uh, give me a strength check. Uh, ten. Ten. <laughs> Wham! Ah! <laughs> give yourself another hit point of damage. For... No. <laughs> you can't fail that badly. To... Oh, no, he doesn't. Um, if you really try to kick this door down, you, you are making a lot of noise. Bam! Bam! And if you do about the third or fourth, you're actually going to be able to push, uh, 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 kick this door in, knocking over some uh, uh, shelves and maybe what looks to be a chest. All right, I will peek inside. Inside, dirt floor, and you see a familiar mound. That would be caused by a ghoul. Something that you can identify at this point. A familiar what? I'm sorry. Mound. Mound. Oh, mound. Yeah. Freshly. Again, I say freshly. Yeah, not really. Freshly, freshly in relativity to the dirt around it. Right. So, um, <clears throat> Fuck them. Who has the survival around here? Well, I I have the survivor on air, but I also roll a disadvantage. That is true. Because I'm actually going to friggin' remember I need to do that. I can roll. I will. I mean, I mean, I can. Uh, I can you guys try. Can roll for Merrick as well as if you want to have his help. Go ahead, Carol. Your I, turn. All right, you. Uh, no, you go ahead. I'll roll for myself. All it's, right. Yeah, it's disadvantage. It's a disadvantage. Okay, well, that's not terrible. That's a 15 survival for me. Which is not bad. I rolled a two for Mac. <laughs> Fifteen. Um, yeah, I'll be sort of stumbling along behind him, but Merrick is absolutely lost in what's going on here. You guys are fairly insightful, and while you may not have known Merrick long, the time you have known him uh, have been dire times. So you kind of got a good read on him, and he is just utterly uh, shocked by what's going on here he even says that he's visited um this village in the past month I... you guys yes this is about two to three weeks maybe three to four weeks old for those listening at home making the connections this is a flashback this is the village from the flashback for Merrick. Just to clarify. Uh, I'll spend some more time searching. Yeah. See if there's any evidence of anything. Yeah. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a, a hand on Merrick's shoulder because I can probably kind of tell. You're touching him? Well, I mean, me touch. I think it's. I think it's. It's okay if I touch somebody. I have the control there, right? It's not so much. I mean, that's the way I'm interpreting it. Or yeah, do I, I not want? And it's that kind of scene where you desperately want to. Or yeah, or or that could be pull back. Yeah, I was going to ask to clarify that. Is it if I wanted to touch somebody, like to heal them or whatever? I mean, does that count towards this? Do I not want to, it? Does it go both ways or is it just, you know, the surprise of somebody in touching the case me? case of uh, uh, you, say, trying to heal somebody, um, I'm going to make you roll okay. uh, a save to see if you can even do that. I'll tell you what, I'm going to roll a save play, now. You tell me how you want to do that. Yeah. I'm going to make a save now and see if I, uh, no, I, I go up to like, I was gonna put a hand on him to comfort him, but I just I can't do it. I look and I got my hand out and just oh, damn it. Uh, he's just there, just getting lost in this memory, telling you about this little girl who had saved him oh, from the angler tree in this jungle and. It's all gone. Uh, Bran, you continue. There are 
obvious signs. Everyone uh, uh, in this party, even even exhausted ones, uh, Anja, Riley, they're noticing these uh, seashells. Um, every once in a while, it looks like there's this coral-tipped spear uh, uh, where it's been broken off as it's been jammed uh, into the ground somewhere. Uh, the teeth mark is something more you pick up. Um, but when you go into these buildings where they've been barricaded, you notice ghoul holes. And struggle inside. Mm -hmm. Either insight or, or maybe uh, an intelligence perception check. So intelligence modifier and your proficiency in perception. I'll take insight. Go straight insight, sure. Um, insider, fifteen. Insider, for what is it? Perception, or an In intelligence perception, as you're trying to kind of put together what's going on. Investigation is possible too here. Um, Second, my my video cutting out for some reason. Uh, investigation, right. uh, insight wise. The, that would have been so much better if I wasn't rolling at disadvantage. Eight Sorry, could, you plus... could you repeat that, Kyle? I, I missed some of it. Oh, I said um, I was just going through what kind of checks I was looking for. So Third... insight and intelligence perception. Take, take your pick. Wait, intelligence perception. Well, see, my intelligence you is not don't give choices to Carol. She'll then be the indecisive. I know. That's the... Oh, God. Well, no, no, no. I, I want... I want. I have better wisdom than intelligence. So and Just go um, insight. I'm going insight with uh, 13. 13. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a little foggy just trying to put it together. Uh, uh, Anja. Um, Bran... Yeah, it looks like people barricaded themselves in, possibly when the village was being attacked. Well, I mean, and then I, I drew that conclusion right. Away. Well, there you go. If you had that conclusion, <laughs> I mean, um, so they clearly something people like barricaded themselves in, and then the ghouls came in, came to the floor. Yeah, the I'd like to ask you a question. Um, the spears, the coral tip spears. Do they look like the ones that the uh, deep ones used on us when we first arrived at the beach? They look similar. Um, who is my... Yeah. Let me... Okay. Yeah. Riley um, also, you know, can't keep his nose out of a book too long just trying to figure out what's going on he's able to help you identify that while these look like the spears from the deep ones the bindings the lashings on them are are different made with uh, uh, more sinew as opposed to barnacles kind of binding uh, the spear shaft together. You said I found shark teeth? You found shark teeth. I'd like to look at that and see if that looks similar to the deep one's teeth that I've observed from their corpses. Yeah, go ahead. Um, this is going to be more investigation, I think. So go ahead and give me that roll. Um, and I'll have Riley. Uh, Riley will help you out with that. So if you want to roll with advantage. Uh, 13 stuff. 13. Yeah, they look pretty similar to the uh, Deep One's teeth, although some of these are freaking big. So, man. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, what are you guys thinking? What happened here? Clearly, an attack from either Deep One's or some thing else. I think ghouls. Heard. I mean, they came from the ground. I don't Possibly. Think deep, don't think deep ones burrow. Possibly. And there may have been more things here. The 
the village has barricaded themselves, but it's a little odd that... Do we see any evidence of struggle, blood, or fights outside of the huts? I mean, is it possible yes. there was a fight okay. between the Deep Ones and the Ghouls? That's where you see some of these furrows. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go with the furrows and sniff them. Do they smell like ghoul or something else? You're going to need a perception check, and it's going to be up there, like a DC 30. Oh, uh, 30? Well, I got a 16. <laughs> we're <talking. laughs> Again, we're talking about, oh, how old are these? Three to four weeks old. <laughs> Well, I'll like if you know you move some of the dirt. I'll, I'll move some of the dirt around, like you know, dig it a little bit. Does it have like a fishy smell or more like a rot smell? You have no idea. It smells okay. like dirt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll actually dig around in the outside furrows, the big ones. See if I see any scales. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if you're going around, you're digging through, you're looking. Uh, go ahead and give me another perception check. And the sun is beginning to set. I Oh, 24 for that one. There you go. Um, if you go around the edge of this village on the outer skirts, you don't find any scales at all. Um, I think that's... good enough you can find because at this point it looks like someone went through from the jungle to into the village okay. where branches and stuff has snapped off so you see you know dead branches kind of hanging dead fern leaves here and there you might surmise that something came from the jungle to the village yeah, that's what I kind of figured. So it was they barricaded it themselves, not, then the ghouls came after them. Yeah, this is not on the side of the ocean, however. Oh, so from so the, there's something else that's living inland. So it's not possibly. deep ones. So it's not deep ones. It's probably something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. As the sun begins to set, and we are getting to the last vestiges of light um, just as the last bits of sun are retreating the last building receiving its light uh, appears to be what looks like an old church set on uh, an outcropping of stone Brand will look at the other and says, I think we should rest there for tonight. In the church? Yes. If it's on stone, most likely the ghouls will not be able to dig through it. Plus, it's well, a little out of the way. We should be able to see anything coming uh, from the jungle itself. No, that's a good... It's the strongest building around anyway, so you're absolutely right. Um, although, if the it depends on what the floor is made out of more, because ghouls seem to be able to just... Well, it's on a stone before. outcropping, so I don't oh, think they can see right through stone. But who knows? Exactly. Who knows? Maybe they can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you head towards this temple here. When you get closer, you can identify it as a, a, a temple to the uh, goddess of light. Um, judging by what looks to be a toppled statue. Uh, near the front of it. Uh, approaching the doors, they are also barricaded. Uh, and this is a very thick uh, wooden doors uh, with images of the goddess of light. Um, dressed more in a warrior's outfit, wielding uh, a sword that looks like it's blazing with light. If you kind of look to examine the building, uh, outside 
you find a body that has been out for a while. Is it withered? Lovely. Yeah, make a medicine check and we'll give you as much information as you like. So the ghouls didn't get 14. one. 14, yeah. I will blow. Yeah. Um, it's withered, not to the point of desiccated like these other um, bodies. This one just looks like it's been out in the sun okay. for a while. No actual signs of whatever killed it. And, well, killed him. <laughs> Can we and tell? If you kind of examine the body a little bit, there's bruising on the bottom side um, and the arms, the bones are broken. Uh, it looks like this boy had a fall. Question was it before? Can we tell time wise? How long ago? How long ago was it? It's after been at least a goals? while. It's been a while since it's been out in the sun. I find it strange the ghouls will leave this behind. They eat corpses. So, remember though, they like older corpses. Well, this one's getting to be an older corpse. No, we're talking hundreds of years old. Yeah, but they're taking live people. Plus they there's a good chance this boy died after they were here. That's that's why I was asking. I was probably haven't been back. It was after. Uh, okay, yeah, that's I look weird. up. You said a fall, so I look up. Look up like most uh, um, small temples. Uh, this one has a steeple. Um it looks like there's no windows uh, uh, down near the ground floor. There is stained glass that looks like it would catch the sun uh, and really, um, I mean, whatever the, the temple looks like inside, really shine in on the temple outside. But that's a very small window and very high up and very solid. It's not going to, uh, unless you just break it open and crack it open. Um, but there is a steeple on top where it looks like a bell would be. If you're yeah. able to climb it, you might be able to work your way in. So, oh, so the temple is barricaded? Yeah. The temple is barricaded. Uh, okay. Um, yes, I will try to climb it. I'm pretty good at that. As we, as we saw with all the rigging. <laughs> Oh, gosh. What is your bonus to uh, uh, athletics, acrobatics? Uh, my acrobatics is plus six. Plus my six. athletics is only one. Roll me a good acrobatics check. It's ten. I mean, I rolled a four. Yeah, you are not able to get up there. Oh, God. Luckily, you don't get so high enough that you would fall out of off the roof. Um, I mean, I can try. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, yeah. I have rope, but I don't have a hook. You will give her like a grapple? Let's see. Yeah, I, I have rope, inventory. but no hook. Uh, do I really not have a grapple? Rangers don't get grapple? No, you have to buy that stuff. Oh, damn it. No, I don't have one. Yeah, same thing. Rope and no grapple. Yeah. <sighs> Roll a d6. If you get a six, you'll have the grapple. Uh, well, if I get a, a five six? Or a six. Uh, I got a six. You have a grapple. I got a murder hobo! <laughs> Thunder over that. Mm. Hey, look, there's a grapple of magically just showed up. <laughs> you know, I think it's a little odd, and you know, I don't really give you guys that much time to shop unless you do something that I'm not aware of. And don't I'm really give us any money either to shop. Yeah, that's with. true. So that's you got ten know. gold. Yeah. And that's after the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> 
it seems weird. One of you in the party has has the grappling hook. Someone thought ahead, hey, we're spelunking. Let's let's have a grapple or something like that. That's how I, I imagine. I'll bet you Merrick has a grapple. That seems like something Merrick would have. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll say that Merrick has a grapple, whether he has it or not. Yeah, works for me. So you're able, you toss the grapple up. You are able to climb inside the church up into the bell tower. Um, are you going in by yourself or are you bringing everyone in up through the world? Park? I will actually go in by myself if, uh, as, because Anja's is not doing so hard right now. Yeah. I just, I'm leaning up again. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll put my back up against the, you know, the temple wall. And I'm just using it to, for support. You know, now that the adrenaline has worn off from being in that horrible temple, not this one, the other one, it's like she's having a hard time staying propped up or walking or anything else. <sighs> yeah. So uh, you get up there, you go on down the inside chairs um oh my goodness i can't even think pulpits pews are lined up against this door just barricaded beyond belief at the back of the church you find uh, another body this one of a young boy uh maybe seven years old <sighs> he is clutching what looks to be a music box in his hands medicine check if you like yeah Jesus. Uh, I'm doing horrible yeah again no signs of wounds um, basic these are basic uh, um, basic so I think you're getting this um, dehydration he has not been allowed to roast in the sun, however, so he does not look to be quite as withered away, but you see the signs. Um, he's also young enough. There's no way that he did all of this bear yeah. himself. I realize that. And if you uh. look at the features you would conclude that those two might be related. I look around to see if there's any other exits, if there's any holes in the ground, if there's a sub-basement at all. Uh, no sub-basement. It's all on solid rock. Um, there's even a, a bit of what looks to be where the pulpit would be uh, a mixture of volcanic glass and rock mixed together um, where uh, the priest would um, give his sermons. All right. I will take the time to remove the, uh, the pews barricade so they can open up the door. Then I will let everyone in. Okay. You guys come in. Are yes. you doing anything with the the child? I will be in a moment. Okay. Uh, I will take a cloth from the church or from my own pack, and I will take that young boy that was in the church, bring him out next to the other boy, and kind of cover them both up. But first, I want to get everyone settled in and check Anja's wounds. Yeah. You are able to do that, uh, Anja? Yes. I need you to make a dread saving throw. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unless you absolutely refuse to let him help you. you um... Tell me how this is going down. All right, so she knows he's trying to help him, help her. I can't talk. 
and she but she'll look at him and she'll sort of back almost like instinctually back you know back away not like she's trying to like it just happens you know and she's she Andrea. can't help it Andrea, close your eyes <sighs> i know it's been an ordeal i need to look at that though all right and i roll as i close my eyes and i make a good save uh what is it it's, um <laughs> It's this wisdom, right? Against, yes, wisdom. Wisdom eighteen. The original insanity save. So, uh, well, I don't know what that. I don't know what the DC is, but it's eighteen is what I rolled. So, I'm going to assume that makes it. I think it, I know that makes it. Yes, that makes it. It's somewhere like fifteen or so. I don't remember though exactly. <laughs> but I just, I kind of really grip. Like, are we sitting? We, I guess we could be on a pew or something. Um. I'd actually probably go down to the ocean. Well, we'd probably either go down to the ocean or I'd bring water from the ocean to clean out the wound. Oh, fuck that. Yep. Yep. Oh, no. Yep. It's going to suck. It's going to suck. <laughs> okay. For the record, I swim in the ocean with a cut or two. And oh, my God, it sucks. Uh, yep. But it's good. Good for you. Fine. Go get it. I don't think we want to be down there. Probably I some boiling like... water. So I, I figure for a good hour or so uh work on everyone's injuries uh disinfect uh the nine yards mm, let's see i'm gonna make another save to prevent myself from screaming because it's probably <laughs> hurts really bad oh well she's a that's a 15 so i'm gonna i'd say that's probably good enough to suck it up and not cry out because she doesn't want to. I mean, who knows what the hell it could hear and what the hell something like that could could bring. So so once Sucks that's done, um, I want Anja to rest. But I will ask Barrick. I'm not going to ask Riley because I'm assuming Riley's like buried in his tablet or whatnot. Probably still has flies up or something. Uh, but I'm going to ask Barrick to help me gather up uh, wood to make a pyre. Sure. Uh, he'll help you out with that. Okay. Uh, and I don't know how long it'll take to do that, per se. I don't want to go too deep into the forest or anything, just enough to probably make a pyre. You can go down into the village and there is firewood that has been, you know, kind of knocked over. You can find what you need in the village. Yeah, we'll take part, like, some of the, maybe, like, a house or something like that that's not doing so well as, like, the base. Yeah. And I'd like to make a pyre for this two children. Yeah. Uh, As you do this, um, uh, go ahead. Uh, oh. Can you hear me? You kind of, yeah. Uh, you're kind of cutting out a little bit if you're ready to go ahead, though. We can't hear you, though. The DM or brand? What? No, it was me. Okay, there you go. All right. Yeah, it just my mic is being a pain in the butt. Uh, so we'll make a pyre and basically I will give them rights. I will actually take that music box and I will play it during their fire burning yeah. as a gift to the Raven Queen. Oh, can I get it to work? The fucking, is it the we can, same we can song? Barely hear I don't it. know if it's the same DM <laughs> song as the one in there. Not working that well. You gotta you gotta put the mic more towards it. Yeah, that's about all I'm gonna get, probably. I mean I can kind of hear it. Not constant, sadly. Yeah. Uh Bran, you recognize this tune that's playing out of it. Is it that fucking same song? And the Raven 
sorry, a raven, not the raven. Come on, guys. A raven comes down uh, uh, and lands beside the bodies. And I hope not, because we're on the fire. <laughs> before you even set this thing on, fire, oh, okay. I should say. Um, and actually, even if you try to shoot it to allow for um, allow you to start the fire, uh, it doesn't move. I will inspect the bodies before then. So I will, I'll go through them, see if there's any notes or whatnot. Sure. Uh, you go through, and it's actually the music box that has the most information on it on the bottom or engraved in the case. Um, oh, put your mic back to your mouth. Thank you very much. I should probably do that. Uh, it's uh, the music box, if you look at it, um, that has the most information. Uh, on it, three names, um, which I have right here. Give me half a second here. I wasn't expecting... I'm not making up something off the top of my head because I really suck at it. There we go. Three names. Do, do, do. Uh, to Bo, Sam, and Emery. From mom and dad. So there's a third somewhere. There's a third somewhere. And as you kind of examine this, the raven hops towards you and starts digging through your case, your satchel, your backpack, whatever you're. I will take out the toy, of course. And if you examine that, the name of Emery is on the bottom of the toy. This was found in the office. Yeah. If you ask Riley, well, no, you, you, you grabbed it. So, no. Yeah, you grabbed it from a salt circle. I grabbed it from what? <laughs> um, so, because you guys were kind of rushed through there, um, the room that you escaped through and into the crack mm -hmm. was uh, a very large room, massive, bloody looking circle on the floor, but on top of what looked to be a work table, um, along with various G Jaws, um, vials, flasks. Um, containers and all of that was this toy horse, this painted toy horse inside of a circle of what appeared to be sand or salt. Oh, on the desk? On this workbench, yes. Uh, I'd like to think back, do I have any inkling what the significance of that circle might be? Uh, this is uh, arcane religion. Okay, religion I'm good with. Yeah. Well, okay with it. I can hold better than a nine. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, ghosts, spirits um, have issues with <coughs> lines of salt or sand. Well, specifically lines of salt. Um there's a possibility that this was and uh, Riley's not here either, which makes this difficult. Um, well, Riley, Arcane too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arcane-wise, yeah. Um, 
if there was a haunt or a spirit. Oh, um, this is going to be more religion uh, for okay. you, especially because this is um, undead that we're talking about. And your religion um, has thoughts and feelings on the undead, and you might know how to deal with them, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Circle of Salt can be used to uh, contain a wild spirit or or a haunt of some sort. Um, Riley, um, as he goes through his notes, if you ever or if you even talk to him uh, remotely about this, he will mention that he has found a note um, uh, dictating. Um, oh goodness, I always have something hiding around here and then I lose it. You mean it was eaten by his tongue? Yes. Oh. Um, uh, a note saying, you know, the spirit that has been bothering these, uh, ghouls and the new recruits to the temple appears to be tied uh, with this object. Uh, And if you have the time to consecrate it or desecrate it, I suppose, um, consecrate it. They're cultists. They think they're the good guys. Consecrate uh, to rid themselves of the spirit uh, to allow the ghouls and the temple workers to continue upgrading uh, and updating the temple. Summarizing that, yeah, looks like it was in the process. All right. So, if you need me to clarify. I'll, I'll clarify. She is clearly, she is clearly already dead, mm-hmm. and it's possible she might have been haunting them. The question is, how did she die? Uh, I will look at the toy horse, see if there's any other information on it. Nope. Do I believe if I burn the toy horse, do do I believe that might set the spirit free? You would think that. I will place... you set this horse down, sorry, you were doing it. (laughs) I will set the horse down on the pyre. And the raven flies off. And at that point, I will then light it and play the music box. It goes this slow burning. You walk away as you play this uh, music box. The, The sad, melancholy notes ring from it. And as the pyre begins to build and build and the building really takes flight, the melancholy notes turn to a more joyous tune. And as logs fall in onto the building as this collapses, um, you would swear you see children ghostly children run off into the night sky dancing over the ferns in the jungle and the sounds of laughter. Brian will just nod and let the fire burn itself out safely. Don't want to cause a forest fire. As that happens, go ahead and lose two levels of dread. Nice. And I burned a one. Yay. 
Uh, and as you go back to the temple at some point, which I imagine you do, um, the raven sits above the doorway. Before I head back to the temple, mm -hmm. I know it's late, but I need to do this. Uh, I will inform Merrick that I will back shortly just keep a watch. I'm going to head down to the beach again. Mm -hmm. Look around to make sure I'm alone. You appear to be alone. All right. I will then remove my garments, including the mask. I'll take a look at the mask to see how badly damaged it is. Yeah, it's... Uh broken clasp and it looks like maybe a bit of the mask is chipped away from where it kind of binds to your face. Okay. Uh, I will take assessment of my garments. I'm pretty sure they're ragged. That'd be accurate. Uh, I will take a little bit of time to wash them off as best I can. Mm -hmm. And then I will look myself over to see what damage and differences there are. The scales have deepened, especially along your arm where they continued. Your other arm begins having uh, uh, some loose skin. You peel off, you do have some scales under there. Probably the most difficult thing you're going to find is that there's some soreness around your eyes. And it feels like maybe some bones have shifted. Um, without a mirror and the ocean. Oh, look at the ocean, like the clearest part of the ocean. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Let's get a D hundred out here. Oh no. Oh now I rolled really high. <laughs> now you rolled really high. Yeah, no. <laughs> the ocean tonight is fairly still. You'll have to wait out enough to kind of um avoid the waves but you can kind of take a look uh, into the ocean. The moon is bright enough. You can see your reflection and you've honestly been able to see everything much clearer now. And you can just kind of see where your eyes have grown a little larger and have shifted to that ichthyoid black, huge pupils. God damn it. And there's a little loose feeling in the teeth. You still look like yourself, but you're... It might take a second glance just to say that you are Bran. You still have your mother's hair, your bright, your red hair. It hasn't fallen out quite yet. Or it hasn't fallen out yet. You know. Uh, I'll smack the water. And just turn around. Yeah. And like kind of storm out of the ocean. Sure. I'll wait for the clothes to dry a bit before I redress and head back up. Yeah, and as we see Brand smack the water, the camera kind of is watching you from, from the beach as we kind of turn and we see Bran storming out of the water. And for just a moment, we see a figure 
at the top of the water, watching Bran. But as another wave crashes in, it's gone. We wait for your clothes to dry. We put them back on. Mm-hmm. And we head back to the temple. None the wiser. Um, for the rest of the evening, I will... I'll just rest because I don't think I have the journal that I retrieved from the house back on uh, uh, what was the name of the island? Rosetta? Rosante. Rosante, thank you. I don't have that on me. Mm. All right. We will include the wrong rest. Hey, uh, Anja, can I have a uh, constitution saving throw, please? Come on, roll. Doesn't she yeah! have advantage? Does she have advantage? Why? Oh, because you helped me? me? Yeah. Do I? Uh, my goodness, you people are all greedy. Oh, my goodness. Well, if I fail, it's going to be bad. Yeah, that's true. I assume also, bad. by the way, <laughs> if I fail, I, I assume, A, I don't. I'm going to go one step further up the track and it's going to be three, right? Even though the source of exhaustion two was not related. Well, to- roll first and see what happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, am I rolling at advantage or not? You are rolling at advantage and you have other benefits as well that we won't talk about. Oh, well, I that's actually a lower DC now. Oh no! Well, that's not great. My roll was seven and nine. Oh, it's a nine. All right, what is that? It's a what? I can't. It's a, that's an eleven. <laughs> you make the save. I did. Mm-hmm. So I'm at what? Normally, one? it's a DC eleven just to begin with. Oh I my gosh. DC nine with the help of a doctor. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. it was an advantage. It was. I would have made it anyways. That was my first die anyway. So, <clears throat> um, so I'm at exhaustion with one. You are we... able to get rest tonight, and your exhaustion goes down. You no longer have filth fever. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure because I was. Ex- I wasn't sure. How does it? Am I still uh, suffering any effects from the fight? You are still at. Um... Oh my goodness. So there are two different tracks then. Mm-hmm. Yes. You I think she's talking about the uh, dexterity loss. Oh. Would yeah, because well, well, okay. well, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, uh, all right. Wait, hold on, hold on. There's, there's Riley, multiple effects here. Yes. Anja, okay. Let's just go with you since you have all the effects. Yeah. You have dropped down your exhaustion from your wound. Correct. You clean that out and you can actually pull out the wicking the next day. Oh, and you can regain your maximum hit points back. You regain one, uh, uh, one point of dexterity back. Each long rest will drop you back down until you are at full dexterity, or right. rise until you get one dexterity. So you now have one uh, uh, ability damage to dexterity. Merrick has three. Why is it not? <sighs> Stupid thing. Um, Riley, who was also suffering from two exhaustion, he regains. Um, or, well, he loses one level of it. Uh, and I think that was all the conditions that were affecting you. Yes, aside from psychosis. Other than psychosis. Those take much longer. You have to, I think it's like 20 days or something like that before you're allowed to even tackle those. So you wake up the next day. Why it's not overriding. Oh, there we go. Finally, it worked. Uh, so I do I still, I so the question, I still do. Yes, I you still have one have, point of dread. I, uh, I, no, exhaustion. I still have one point of exhaustion. Great. But that has nothing to do with the disease, so I don't have to worry about progressing and dying. No. Yes. 
that has to do with the show show. If you remember, he yeah, did oh yeah, do the exhaustion. I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you guys have a decision to make. Um, Merrick is fairly confident he can lead you back to Farzine. It's a matter of how quickly you want to get there and how safely will you want to get there. Um, there are no horses to ride uh, from this village. Um, so it will be either three to five days if you choose to go through the jungle or the beach. Not the way I want to get back. I actually go to the beach. We are not, vote, we're not well equipped. I vote the beach too. Although I will scrounge up uh, rations, food and whatnot from this village. Water, things like that. Yeah, you find some. Um, it's not going to last you the entire way there, um, but you're able to at least uh, refill. Uh, you can find water to get you back um, just because the stream is fresh water. One of the reasons that's the village built there. So you can kind of scrounge around. You can find water skins. You may have found some last night and you can get those filled up. Um, the food, there is not a lot of it. It's fine. Yeah, you might have maybe caught a chicken that was just roaming around out in the wild, and that might have been dinner or breakfast the other night. I mean, clearly you guys were not expecting this long of a journey. (laughs) But you uh, make your way through the beach. Um, Let me see. Oh, someone give me a D100, please. Your turn, Carol. Uh, sure, I will. Uh, uh, so. That's not great either. 76. 76? That's it's better than my 97. It's better than 97, but that's still. Yeah. Um, on your travels, you don't encounter anything. Oh, yay. You find signs of ships washed ashore. Uh, you are on the side of the island that does not, you don't want to pass on this side of the island. So it looks like maybe some ships were not paying attention and some of this debris is washing on shore. Um, I will stop by and check the debris, see if there's anything useful. Yeah. Uh, you actually run through <coughs> um, a hogshead of biscuits, so you can kind of add to um, the rations. Um, and if you keep being lucky as this, and you're being thorough and you're searching, you're capable of finding enough food. Um, I need uh, survival. Bran, I, I imagine you're picking up perception pretty well. Yeah. Um, so you're going to be able Let's to... Let's see, my, my <laughs> passive perception... Oh, wait, point of ex- I've still got a point of exhaustion, so I've still got a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't even bother. Oh, wow. No, I... Sh- oh, I... We're going to disadvantage. That was a nat 20, too. <laughs> survive, but that's a 19 survival. 19 survival? Yeah, no, that's good. That's You're able good. to find uh, uh, fruit along the way. Um, you find a little boar piglet that you can murder. Oh, you um, dick. No, isn't it the mom I'm supposed to... Is you it killed the mom? the mom already. <laughs> oh, we're back near where we started. I see. <laughs> or it ran wild. Um, go ahead. Drop your um, exhaustion to zero. Yeah. We get through another day. Too positive you get through the other day. Um, all right, and I get rid of all the damage on my mm-hmm. on my yes, I'm back to normal. Whatever that means. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh you actually continue the next day fairly easily as well. Bran, you begin having the feeling of being watched from the ocean 
but nothing seems to come of it. You can set extra watches. Um, Anja, go ahead and give me that next survival. Right. And Farrak um, is starting to feel and look better too. It seems like the walking, the sun back here. Every once in a while, soaking in the salt water seems to help his joints out a little bit. Dirty 20. Dirty 20, yeah. You're able to find a good resting spot. Um, even if demands are made for a little extra security, you're able to find a place where you're fairly confident if something were to come at you from the water, you could hold it off. Um, that night goes as well. I'd like to do something the yeah. second night when I feel like I'm being watched. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go out to the beach mm -hmm. and I'm assuming I can understand where high tide, low tide range is going to be. Yeah, uh, uh, proficiency in nature or survival? Proficient in nature, yes. Okay, yes, you can. And I rolled a nat 20 on that, so 24. Yeah, sure. <laughs> There's my nat 20 for the day. <laughs> Useless for you. There you go. Uh, so let me, let me uh, just uh, clarify the extra language I have. What was it again? Was it ACLO or something? Oh, no, deep speech. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay, I just wasn't I sure. Yeah, you either had ACLO or deep speech or I think possibly it was, both. Uh, it might have been both, actually. Yeah, ACLO is going to... Oh, I do have ACLO. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. ACLO, ACLO in deep your... speech. Okay, there you go. I am going to take some rocks mm -hmm. and... I'm going to spell out in both ACLO and Deep Speech. I know you're watching. Why? You know, I can read it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't tell this to anybody. <laughs> yeah, you leave the rocks overnight. Hey, you know what? At some point, I actually want to... I want to broach that topic, by the way. I'll come up to you. Brand. Okay. <clears throat> and they're like, what? Did something happen? Because you don't seem to need a torch to see in the dark anymore. What? Did you know, something you happen? didn't even really notice. Something going on with you? I don't know. Just okay. some point down there, I just felt like I didn't need it anymore. I mean, I think we can all safe to say that going down there, going through there, has changed each, each of us in some way. Oh, yeah, it certainly has. I know it has affected you as well. Maybe I'm just used to the dark now, being down there that long, seeing what I saw. I don't know. To be honest, I'm not completely sure of myself. Should I incite this? <laughs> I'm going to make an insight check. Mm -hmm. Because the player knows. And as Andre doesn't, but I just want to see if she I'm technically it. not telling any lies. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I think you know more than you're saying. You, you don't, I, I, honestly, I guess it's a question of, do you actually think that that's not connected to the other stuff that's going on? This is out of game question, not in game. So, I, that was, I mean, it wasn't a great. Problem is, my character doesn't know enough. Okay. I mean, I guess that, so yeah, that's, and you're, you're bending the rules in the same way I would. I'm so proud of you. I don't know what the effects of what's happening are doing to me. I don't know. Yeah. And we did see plenty of weird shit in the dungeon. We, we did. Uh, that is a 16 insight. Do I? You know what? I'm going to roll a deception just because. <laughs> Go for Give it. yourself advantage for telling the truth. Yeah, you really should. 11. Ooh, all right. So how do you want me to read this? Because I will, I will leave it up to you on what you probably want. Knows, probably has guesses. 
that you know something more to it, but you don't really know. Mm -hmm. You're like, you're not it's telling like, me everything. I will say this. It's like a doctor telling a patient, you know, in the best way possible without outright saying their assumptions. That's that's fair. And I just, I look at you like... I figure that's a decent description. Just just know that, you know, I'm, I'm here. For, I mean, you're a doctor, but I don't know if I can help with something like this, but I am here. Until I can diagnose what is wrong, can't do anything about it. We need help, though. Please. Oh, I understand. I have the monastery we learned to feel one's suffering, the only way to truly know how to help. Maybe this is just another form of learning suffering to be able to assist those that need help. <laughs> yeah, I do kind of laugh at that. And um, well, we suffered plenty on this trip. No, admittedly. I guess we're really good at uh, helping people. We're ready to help people. <laughs> no, admittedly, I have to admit my writings have broadened. I never understood some of the cryptic speak they had about mercy. I always thought it was simply helping those and saving others from injury and death. But now I think I realize there are other forms of mercy out there. There are. Some that must be gifted to those that don't even know it. There are, I mean, sometimes death is mercy. You are correct. I tell you right now, I felt pretty bad enough that the death might have been a mercy a couple of days ago. No, Not that I'm I pretty sure you, I had seen your injuries before, though it felt horrible. I was sure that you could get through it. You are strong. Your body is tough. And your will is one that I have not seen forged in a long time. This will make you better, though you will feel the scar forever. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that that wound is going to scar, isn't it? I do not mean the physical scar. Oh, you mean the scar from the... I mean the mental scar yeah. of suffering through this. Yeah, I'd like to know how I can fix my mind. Something's not right. You knew that. I don't want to be touched. Trauma happens many ways. For now, simply breathe, try to cope with it. When we have the opportunity, we will see what we can do. Sounds like you're telling me to meditate. That could be a way. It's not for everybody, though. Sometimes anger, destroying things, hitting things is the best outlet. Stress and anxiety can be a dangerous thing to the soldier, to the housewife, to the child, to the politician, to the doctor. It all depends on how we manage it. I... You know, you do have a good point because I personally would love to go start killing ghouls right now after all the shit we've seen. I do know how you feel. Uh, you would. I knew it was a mistake for you to look back in that friggin'. No, it was necessary. You really wanted to see that? I had to see. I knew what I was going to do to you. I am fine. You know, I need not worry. I have been through much, as I said before. It was simply shocking <laughs> to see a, a living saint in such a condition. She wasn't just a living saint. She was a saint of your goddess, of your order. Everything dies. 
everything comes back to life through rebirth, death. The cycle is what keeps this keeps the flow, keeps the balance. Sorry. I'm, ass I'm assuming this is happening at night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I would not. Or on a walk, your choice. It's either, it's going to be out of your shot or the other two, too, because I wouldn't have brought that up. I will, uh, Brad will kind of look away. It's like, we should probably maintain our vigilance. We may be being watched. Um, with that, uh, wait, what? what do you the, mean in the morning, I would like to check to see if there's any reply. What do you mean by no being reply. watched? Okay. But the stones are no longer there. That's a reply. Yeah. I, si I simply say, I, uh, I simply say, <laughs> there are many things in this jungle. I simply have the sensation that something is watching us. To be honest, as long as they do uh, not so come closer, I do not care. Have I sensed anything watching us? Because I kind of know. I. I'll say, if you want to be put on guard, go ahead and make a perception check as you make your way through the second day. Sure, um, I will do that. Merrick uh, tells you of a wizard, actually, um, that you are going to cross paths <coughs> with and that you may be able to at least get some sleep in his tower for the night. Um, his name was is Encore Rincol. Uh, and as Merrick describes him, lunatic is one of the words thrown about. Unhinged. Um, this wizard hates the sea, Encore does. No one knows why, but he hates the sea and anything that involves with it. Uh, if you sail on a ship, you are allied with the sea and you must be destroyed. Oh, fuck. Um, How old? I mean, that's everybody here, though. Not necessarily. Or most people, or a lot of people here. Oh, great. So we can't, we're going to stay with this guy? And we all came in on a. It's boat. simply how we choose our words. Make sure you don't associate yourself with the sea. Don't mention how you got here by boat. Uh, and it should be fine. And he's very perfectly friendly to talk to. Just don't mention the ocean around him. What's the name of the wizard again? His name is Encore. O N C O R. Not. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, uh, E N C O. Mm -hmm. R Y N C A L L. Wait, wait. Encore. O N C O R R. What? Say. O N C O R. Yep. R I N C A L L. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's the crazy wizard who every once in a while will throw a fireball out into the ocean. <laughs> I'd like to say I made this up. <laughs> this no, this is fantastic. I love this. <laughs> Um, your perception check, Anja. Uh, uh, 16. 16. Yeah, no, you... Honestly, it's... You're trying to keep an eye out for something. If you look at Bran, though, you're the one... You can see him reacting to something. Uh, and Bran, on occasion... You have the feeling of being watched the entire time from the ocean. Uh, and at several points, you literally see something watching you. Now, if I if said I can tell he's reacting to something, if I look the direction he's looking in, I still cannot see it, right? Unless someone points it out directly to you. I, I mean, I'll go up to I am ask. trying to be subtle about my reactions. I mean, if I notice, I will go up and ask, if, where is it? I said, for funsies, I'll make an insight. Eh, that's not bad. 
that's a 15. Can make you roll another deception. I'm 16. This point, yeah. Oh, 16. you jerk! <laughs> that's natural. I have no bonus. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, Damn. I've had to start getting some of those. Honestly, you just kind of see him looking out into the ocean every once in a while, but he's been doing this for the past couple of days, so it's not necessarily anything new. Right, right, right. It's right. really hard to read someone who is fully covered from head to toe. True. <laughs> um, I have a question. Maybe he uh, get advantage on those checks. Do I, can I make up the shape at all? Make out the shape, um, or some vague like, oh, it's a large creature, it's a medium creature, tiny creature, it's fish-like, it looks more humanoid, creature. it has tentacles, <laughs> it's a giant <laughs> eyeball that's just coming out of the ocean floor. The what? eye of Sauron raises from the ocean. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's made of glitter dust. It's made of a black hole. What? <laughs> Well, this is um, medium humanoid, um, those large bulbous eyes, no hair, not the ugliest one you've seen. <laughs> and honestly, it's it's kind of at a point where there's maybe some rocks out in the water that is still fairly close to the beach. And it's kind of hiding in those rocks there, glancing at you. Notices. Well, let's see. Yeah. Cocks its head to the side when it notices you seeing it. But doesn't go to hide. Just continues to watch. And... Unless you're planning on doing something about it right now, you eventually continue walking up the beach. I will actually say to the group, I need a pit stop. What's up? And I just say nature calls. Okay. I won't incite this. <laughs> it happens often enough, I'm sure. Yeah. I will actually see if I can make my way over there without being noticed too much. <laughs> you are walking out into the ocean. Well, like backtrack a bit from the forest. Oh, you want to go, say, around the <laughs> and then yeah. say, I got to use the potty? Yeah. Mostly for the party not to see where I go. Give me a stealth check. Come on, dice. Roll me well. Ugh. Twelve. Twelve. God, I suck. Yeah, no. Everyone in the party watches you go off into the jungle <laughs> and listens to you go a lot farther than you need to go. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I know this. Gotta go, it's because I got to go number two. Uh, yeah. That's actually little... exactly what. He's Riley a says. shy. <laughs> so. You're a shy pooper. I always suspected. I was going to go with him, but uh, do you have? Really, I don't want to smell what comes out. Of that room. No, no, he's a shy pooper, and I'm sure he's got like maybe there's something a fancy toilet in the woods he had built for himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you make your way back. Everyone knows you're going deep into the woods. Um, but you can eventually get to those rocks. Um, looking again, the figure is no longer there. I'll look around to uh, see if anything was left behind. Nothing appears to be left behind. <laughs> I will put some rocks down nearby mm -hmm. That's that just spell out an aclo and deep one. Mm -hmm. And also common. Mm -hmm. Who are you? And 
and then I will leave and I will go back to sleep when I can. Sure. And Anja, he has been gone for a while. That must have been quite a workout or something. Uh, I mean, if it's that long, I might go tr- see if I can track him down <laughs> out of concern. But it isn't that long. I mean, yeah, he's a shy pooper. He had to go in there away, so maybe, you know, it just takes uh, a little bit longer for him. Read, some, guys, read a chapter uh, of the medical book at the same time? Yeah, every once in a while. You just gotta work your way through it. How else do you actually read the thing? I haven't had any good fiber lately, all right? <laughs> no. Not a, none of us have. I think I can kind of sympathize, actually. So, You guys continue making your way? Take it away. <laughs> Not quite. Early enough in the afternoon, you run across what looks to be a collapsed stone tower. At the edge of the beach, there is just this wooden tower that has fallen. The top of it uh, is being washed up by uh, the waves. How many days is this in now? Three? Uh, this is day three. Three or four. Four. I lost Merrick. No, this sorry. Thing? This is day three. Sorry. That does, I lost, sorry. I lost day Merrick. Is, is, this the, is this the wizard's tower? It should be. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, this is the wizard's tower, he tells you. Well, it's broken. Or should I say, was the wizard's tower? What happened? Yeah, that place got closed down. <laughs> If you guys can start to look at the tower, um, this building has collapsed in on itself. Uh, I look for the signs of damage, like, was it because of a fire? Did some did a giant boulder come into this? Did it just look like it got smashed or just rotted away and collapsed? <coughs> This is going to take investigation, I think. Uh, or history. Uh, investigation it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, is investigation. Hey, 20, dirty. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, investigation or history. Oh, I get to roll too. Oh, I'm assuming uh, you're joining I'm in. Grand. I'm assuming everyone's joining in. Yeah, all right, fine, hang on. Yeah. Um, uh, 17 investigation. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, did you roll history or investigation? Invest- investigation, because I don't have shit for history. Brand. Same. History. Investigation. Investigation, okay. Yeah. You uh, examine the tower. You don't find any boulders, rocks, the wood... While old doesn't look like anything uh, uh, rotted away, the tower stone seemed fairly um, sturdy. When you get to the base of the tower, however, there's still just like this little uh, bit of the wall standing around. But if you look on one side where the tower fell, it looks like the tower kind of collapsed in on itself a little bit like uh, something dug up underneath it to cause oh it to son collapse. of a I was wondering about that so like ghouls probably dug up underneath it and... I would like to I don't never... assume Anja would like to as well probably yeah. I don't want to speak for her I'd like Do to I... try to enter in and search around for any survivors or at least the bodies of. Yeah, I want to see if we can figure out what happened to the wizard. There uh-huh. is plenty of stone here that if you wanted to do a thorough search, you are going to spend days here. No, oh, no, we don't want to do that. Do at least, yeah, do a little bit. Yeah, you move a few rocks. Um, maybe you send Merrick off to kind of find a good place 
to sleep for the night because this tower ain't it anymore and you have that mm-hmm. kind of time of the day um, and you can kind of pick through you don't si- see any signs of um, the wizard here uh, and we okay. can roll the perception investigation nope. along no blood stains or anything right no blood stains yeah 14 perception. Well, uh, no, I was going to roll it over. Uh, is what oh, oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll, roll here, it over. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Anja, you're, you're tracker enough. You can see old um, tracks leading away. A brand, you kind of see the trail as well into the forest. So he might have got away. Maybe. Uh, I, as I'm digging through, I will just keep an eye out for anything of interest. Books, yeah. items, chests. Yeah. Well, let me see. <laughs> zero, zero, one. Oh, oh damn. Oh. Hey. By the way, the You're going to find two items. I'm going to have to think about the second item here. Hey, wait. One, one quick question about the tracks. Are they human yes. tracks? Humanoid. A humanoid. Mm-hmm. Um, you find a, let's call it a locked chess. You are unable to unlock it. Merrick is not there with you. So he's not going to help you unlock this. Uh, and that's your second item. The first okay. item you find is a map Ooh. of Farzeen. Oh. How and old a like to look at this. Very old and very intricate. Oh, Marisol really like this one. There I know. There are several X's on the map. Oh. Which is probably... Markings of something. You can tell the markings of various villages. You can f- see markings of small streams, fresh water. It, like I said, this is a very intricate and very detailed map. The things that stand out to you are these little red X's. Uh, about five of them on the map in various locations. Interesting. And in dark brown stains are the words lies, 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 just written over this map. Well, I was going to ask if there was like an author's signature or whatnot, but I kind of figured it out. Okay, so actually we see something good for Merrick. So uh, when Merrick comes back, we'll probably hand that to him. Mm -hmm. So when the next session he's back, we're going to give that to him. We've got to remember. (laughs) Okay. So just the word lies repeated all over the place? In brown, red, ink. In blood. (laughs) Maybe it's just brown, red, ink. You don't know. You can taste it and find out. No, no, don't do that. Okay, anyway. Uh, uh, I like it! <laughs> it's a scratch and sniff. Ah, ah. <laughs> this is the worst scratch and sniff ever! Oh, it's the Willy Wonka wallpaper. You look at it and you get the taste. <laughs> the snozberries taste like snozberries. Snozberries. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that is what you guys find in the tower. Tracks leading away, they're old. Um, Merrick eventually comes back, and you guys can find a place to camp for the night. And if you do so all night through, nothing comes of it. I will, in the morning... Head to the shore alone and just look to see if there's any rocks and any formations nearby. 
Was there an answer? Or shells or anything. It looks there's like no, further away. There's no puka shell that goes left behind. No puka shell that goes left behind. Damn. Then just continue on. You continue on. Uh, day four. Survival check, Anja. Uh, what is my plus? I should know this by now. What's the plus? Uh, plus is five, right? Yep, five. Okay, so 16. 16? Yeah. Yay. Uh, the rations are helping a lot. Supplant for some food you're missing. You're able to find a place for the night. Rest. You actually come across the body of a dead whale that has beached itself. How old is it? Uh, like, is it no, we're not fresh? Moving, we're not getting rid of it with dynamite. For a second, Damn it! For a second, you everybody. actually see uh, Riley's face through the cloak of flies because all the flies fly over to the whale for a few seconds before <laughs> flying back over to him. Uh, there is a huge chunk of its tail missing. Come on, I want to use explosives. The exploding whale is the greatest ever. Oh my gosh, you guys are terrible. Right. <laughs> well, wait. You... Internet, go watch that video if you have to go watch the video. It's hilarious. No, I think I know which one you're talking about. The, no. It's been around for like, thir- you know, for like, God, almost 50 years. Since I think. the internet. <laughs> Since before the internet, almost. Yeah, it was, no, it was before the internet. There this was a new story. Oh my goodness. So look All up right. Exploding Whale and look it up. It's friggin' hilarious. And then you heard it here, folks. One cup, then one oh, cup. God, no. What? I didn't hear that, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, you don't That's want to. A good thing. You don't want to watch it either. Uh, that'll just, live with you. Just, <laughs> just watch cat videos. Yeah, there you go. Or pimple popping videos. That's all. Oh. <laughs> so we continue. We're walking. We're walking. We continue away. Are we on day five? Then this beach whale. Uh, uh, well, you know, just for curiosity, I'll see if anybody's living inside its mouth. No one is living inside of its mouth. I okay, nobody say, named Geppetto har- making wooden boys. Could we harvest it? <laughs> That's what is I was pressure saying? rancid. That's what I want to know. How long has it been there? You could probably find something to harvest. Honestly. Uh, we might be able to, well, we're not going to be able to do this. We don't have the equipment, but we can probably tell the townsfolk they can get a lot of whale fat from that corpse. I mean, think about, yeah, wh- think of whale oil. You know, good for That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You can honestly get some of this whale fat for yourselves just to kind of fill I will, I'm pretty uh, sure right. I can figure out how to harvest it. I mean, I'm nature Yeah. What kind of a check is it to do it right? You can give me a survival check. Is if it you survival? Like. Oh, that's only a 13. So. See if I roll better. Can I roll medicine, actually? I mean, maybe not, but... I'm dropping uh, if you were going for something specific in the whale, if you're just... Okay, I'll that. just do a survival. Yeah. No, no, no. Not with a 7. Yeah. I got nothing. You don't fill uh, yourselves on delicious whale blubber that night, uh, <laughs> but you do get a rest. <laughs> Bran, during your watch, a figure comes out of the ocean (laughs) and stands at the water's edge. Uh, I will quietly leave the camp and walk up to this figure. Go ahead and roll me that stealth check. Make sure it's not a nat one. You trip over the fire log or something. Nat 20. As silent as the grave. That's a total of 23. <laughs> I would still see myself. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 your freaking perception is ridiculous. And he watches as you approach. I will stop probably about 20 feet away from him. And in deep speech, Hail, brother. 
Hell. Does he look like a normal deep one? <laughs> he is not as far along as some you've noticed. Uh, but he's much farther along than you are, certainly. He's got the wide uh, jawline with the shark-like teeth. Uh, the gills, the ichthyoid eyes. I kind of look at him and I'm like looking, like kind of slightly looking over my shoulder, looking back. What is happening to me? You haven't had the feeling yet. <laughs> You're being called to your true purpose. How is this happening? It's only natural. Natural? Of course. Your mother or your father made a deal. And here you are today. What sort of deal? Gold, riches, and everlasting life. Be with who? With Dagon, Father Dagon, and Mother Hydra. With the Deep Ones. What? Are the terms of this deal? Just a simple arrangement. <clears throat> we give children gold, everlasting life. <clears throat> and until the time is ready, you and your children perform deeds <coughs> until the day you are ready to come join us and the rest of the family in the book that I read I saw my mother's family name did I see a father's family name you have no idea who your father is no, I didn't see anything in the book, though, right? You didn't see anything in the... You saw uh, your mother's name specifically. Mm -hmm. There was no mention of your father's name. Um, and if you were to go back into your family history a little bit, you did have... Um, the males were married off. The women... Um, married off after their children were born. Interesting. Uh, well, I think that was strange enough that I think you would remember that. <clears throat> oh, where did I put that? Has, has any of these deals ever been broken before? Some have tried. But what, what, see sense eventually. What way did they try? Oh, they left the ocean. They went further inland. They tried to reject the truth. But they all came back like the receding waves. How long does it take? Depends on how much you resisted. I suggest not waiting long. They want the girl. And what do you we're mean? happy to leave her in your possession. I look back and I look at Anja. Are you even are you near me? You want you want Anja? Oh, she's very important. You want her too. Why do you think you felt yourself 
connecting with her. It's in your who, blood. Who wants her? We do. Who's we? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what purpose does she give? Damn it. I just can't listen to this. <laughs> I'm listening with interest, but damn it, the wrong entities listen to this. Take off your mask. Brent takes off the mask. So aside from the... Aside from the normal change or the changes that are happening, mm -hmm. his face is actually really scarred up. Mm -hmm. Like a lip is like slightly cleft from a wound. He's pale. Uh, you probably can't tell anyone with the eyes bulgy, but like the eyes underneath the are like sunken in deeply around the edges. He's got severe, uh, like a burn and then the other cheek has like almost like uh remnants of an illness like a severe chicken pox or something oh, Jesus. number of teeth are, myth are missing my boy you're starting to look handsome but you're not ready yet no, you have your mother's fiery spirit about you. You knew my mother? How did you know my no, mother? No, your mother. As I said, we all going together beneath the waves. My mother died. Did she? Oh, I must have been speaking of some other red-haired creature I just got red hair <laughs> assume you're not talking about her <laughs> either way when you're ready bring her into the ocean slit the throat of that bastard Serving the false one, that primitive creature, thief. And look at Riley. And perhaps bring the rest down to the bottom with us. They may not be able to understand, but their children will. And anyone else you find who is wandering these beaches these days. Awesome. Just don't take too long. Those dirt diggers have something they're up to. Ghouls. I actually kind of move closer to him. And if I can, I actually... Does he, is he wearing clothes at all? In the shape of shells and seaweed, yes. I will actually kind of grab the clothes like, What do you know about the ghouls? Oh, those faithless creatures are just working for the cults. They want our help, too. Mm. Help with what? Nothing important. It's important to me, because all I want is to see them dead. Then remember when the time is right to bring the girl to us. And You're all saying if I bring her to you, the ghouls will die? Of course. Don't let anything happen to her, though. She's 
very important. And your mother would be so proud. With that, I kind of shovel away and I just kind of, I start walking away. Mm -hmm. I pick up the mask, put it back on. Mm -hmm. And he... gives this weird whistle it should be impossible for a creature with a mouth like his but he just whistles back as he walks into the waves and it's a familiar sound a familiar song from way back when Is the and that night ends unless you have a question no, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I will return and try to sleep mm -hmm. once my shift is over. Yep. How am I sleeping? <laughs> the daily question. How am I that sleeping? I mean, I mean, I don't seem to have any dreams lately. No, well. Or have I? I mean... It's you don't been this to... tossing and turning with the sickness as you dream. Every once in a while, you just see this image of this bespectable rat, this spectacled rat with tentacles on its face, too many hands. Am I seeing the golden place on anymore? You. You're not seeing that place anymore. So to what you say? It's a bespectacled, bespectacled rat. Yes, yeah. spectacled rat with, with tentacles. tentacles and too many fingers. Glimpses. Uh, she's heating up. Voices. Yeah, I don't think she'll make it through the night. I've got to try. And this is over the course of multiple nights. Was this when I was sick or after? Yeah. Just when I was. When you was... were sick and after. Oh, okay, so it's yeah. going. Up. These become more and more clear um, as the uh, uh, as that filth fever kind of leaves your body a little bit, and you uh, catch images of other of these rat creatures kind of looking down at rafters at you. But they're always passing glimpses. Day passing. five begins. You got a dream coming up, Carol. Calm down. No, 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 no. No, I'm writing this down. No, I'm writing this down. So in case anybody wonders, I do write this stuff down. I'm actually keeping it in game. Her room. face keeps disappearing. That's why I keep doing it. And no, I go lower this down, I guess, so that I don't disappear. I'm trying not to, but uh, but unfortunately I gotta be able to see. And right now my vision sucks. The fifth day goes around and I think Riley is more of a share man where did I put all these darn stuffs ah yes <laughs> and Riley uh, uh, manages to read from his thing what are you? and mentions some uh, uh, some notes he had found well that his tomb had absorbed and shares a message. Ghouls have been fortified and agree to aid the ascension in exchange for adequate provisions and free passage above. And you continue your way. And Merrick cuts through the jungle. 
a different direction than you had previously, but there's a point where you actually recognize the beach, the shore, where you guys first landed on Farzine. What has it been, 10, 12 days ago? It feels like a year. (laughs) And from there, he cuts in the jungle, moving quickly, cautiously, but with the assuredness of someone who's walked this trail enough times before. And you leave the jungle and you are greeted once more by the sight of the walls of Farzine. And you can actually see that the wall is nearing completion. There is no point where you can just kind of walk through this outer wall anymore. It has been walled off. You might be able to leap and climb and manage your way in, but you can find the walls of Farzine. Do you go through the entrance? You are aware of there's one on the north side? Entrance. Or you can just try and climb the wall. I'm no, we go through the entrance. Why, why would we yeah. need to? We're not yeah. doing anything bad or illicit. You walk through the main gate and the guards see you, recognize you. Hold there. You've uh, uh, gone for quite a while and Commander Corwell has asked to uh, be alerted when you return to the city. That's understandable. We have had a journey. We did not expect it to take nearly this long. Yes, I, I see. Um, Gary, run and get Commander Corwell. And one of the guards shuffles off. Um, several of the guards. Um, uh, before Gary runs off, I I stop him. Hold. I must get back to the Leaky Cauldron as soon as possible. If we can meet there, that is clearly a better place in the middle of the road. We're just following orders, sir. I mean, there you go. Is there some reason why we cannot meet there? If he says he needs to go there, he needs to go there. We have been asked to watch for you, and when you return to alert Commander Corwell, Good, you can alert him to tell him to meet us at the Leaky, was Leaky Cauldron. As you say that, they draw their swords. Whoa, 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 what? And you are surrounded by steel. What the heck? Spears, swords. Stand back! What the hell? I'm not, I'm not approaching them, I was talking. Hold on, Jim. Hold on. Let me yeah, no, this is great. At this point, Gary has run off, Fuck. and those with decent decent insight, everyone is absolutely nervous. There's sweat dripping through open helms. Some hands are shaking a little bit, and Bran, you notice. what looks to be a declaration uh, posted on several buildings. Just this wall of text. It's kind of hard to read. (laughs) Especially, you know, with a spear pointed at you. Um, And you see wanted posters. Oh, fuck. Of us? Of you. And of former Captain Lothar. Oh, that would explain. That was the next thing I was going to be asking, but I don't need to anymore. Oh, shit. And we will end the session there. <laughs> of course, we will.
It's a great uh, place to end it. Yeah. I can stew over that for two weeks. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I can always count on you guys stretching out an encounter to make it really long. <laughs> So, you know, I imagine that... We did role play in there! We were role playing! I I imagine, like, each of the days, like, you know, at the start of the day, it's like that, you know, day one, Mm -hmm. day two. Yeah. And we fade to... Well, we cut away. We go back to the entrance of the cave with that waterfall that ends into the stream. And from out of this pile of stone, we see this rancid purple mist sneaking its way out of the stones and into the jungle. There we'll end off. Guys, this has been Murder Hoa Inc. The cred campaign. Uh, We've missed two of our players tonight due to the snowstorm. But we will be happy to fill them in uh, uh, in a couple of weeks and see what kind of shenanigans they apparently got themselves into. Um, Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to listen to an audio-only form of this podcast, you can do that at Podbean. You can buy some cool merchandise at the link below. If you want to play with us sometime, uh, 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 hit us up at mhoboinc at gmail.com or on Twitter. Uh, hit us up on Discord if you want to talk about how badly I plan on uh, dealing with these traitorous uh, uh, traitors. Oh, I know. Weird. It's so far this is a black and rock, and man. Uh, it's because Harry. of the treaty. Yeah, we, we, we knew that going in that we we're probably going to be our sponsors, of that. Pirate Dog Dice and uh, Odd Fish Games. Uh, when you're rolling stinks, cover that stink up with some odd fish adventure scents like Carol's Fence Post uh, or one of the other good this. smells. Uh, check out their Shine Project. Check out their How to RPG with Your Cat and several other projects and future projects. Uh, other than that, guys, wave at the camera. Say goodnight. Uh, if you want to pretend like you're in shackles, you soon will be. That'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>